in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use inspect element so that we can change any text on our web page from this to this. So in order to actually use inspect element on Safari, we need to go ahead and download an app from the app store. And that application is called the Achu HTML view and inspector. I'll have a link to this in the description down below. But basically, this app is going to allow us to add a Safari extension, which is brand new in iOS 15. That's going to let us be able to modify our web pages on our mobile Safari browser, similar to the way you would using inspect element on your desktop. All right, so once you go ahead and download the application, it's gonna open up this how to enable screen here, and it's gonna show you exactly how you can enable this extension on your Safari apps. So the first step is to go into your settings app and scroll down to where you see Safari, and then you're gonna to wanna to go click on extensions right here. And here we can see that we currently have the option to turn this Achu HTML extension on or off. So you just want to make sure that this is on. And in this permissions for Achu HTML, we want to make sure that all websites is set to allow. Now, once we've actually done this, we can go back to Safari and we can click on this little extension icon right here. And now we have an Achu HTML extension option that we can select here. So let's go ahead and click on this. And here we can see all of the HTML for the website. But at the bottom here, we have this little edit button that we can click on. And it brings up a pop-up saying edit mode activated, tap some text to begin editing. Changes aren't permanent. Simply refresh the page to return to the original state. So if we close this, and now if we tap anywhere on this web page, so let's say we tap like right here, it's gonna put a cursor and now we have a keyboard so we can modify anything that we want. So we can say the most love, iOS application, just like so. And if we want to edit this text, we could just put our cursor here and we can backspace and just modify any text that we want on the web page. So this is a really cool new feature that is brand new to iOS 15. So you need to make sure that you have iOS 15 up to date in order to use this new feature. But that is basically how you can use inspect element on iOS Safari. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.